<sighs> All right, guys. What I've got for you today is probably one of the most frustrating games I have ever played um, Call of Duty and probably all the Call of Duties I've ever played, ever. And you might be thinking, Brent, what are you, what are you talking about? You ever, you ever heard of Mono Over 2? You ever heard of One Man Army Noob Tubes? Danger Close? Does that ring a bell, Brent? Overpowered Killstreaks? Commando? UMP? Are you high? No, well, no, this this isn't really about the bullshit. This is this is about losing when you're trying so hard to win. And um, this seems to happen so much to me when I play by myself, when I don't roll with any team, any sort of team or anybody, and I play Domination. And uh, it's really not a smart idea, but I just love this game mode. Um, you know, I kind of miss playing in Mono for 2 because there's so much noob tubes. You know, I stuck to search because, it's you know, it's a slower game mode. There's not as much noob tubes more skilled and uh, now that there's none of that in this game uh, I love playing domination again and um, yeah so uh, just thought I'd share that with you uh, before I get into the real commentary uh, one more thing um, I did a um, I recorded a video of uh, ascension and I got to round 21 but my cap card was kind of like uh, jumpy and some parts got a little cut off a little like bits here and there and then when I did the live com with it, um, like here's how it works, really quick. I, I can't take too much time. Um, when I record, I have a separate recording, recording my voice, and then I have the recording, my PVR recording the uh, the game, like the actual video and audio from the game. And um, I have to put those two together. And um, the problem is when those little parts get cut out, um, it takes away from the video. So my end the end time. Uh, of the video part was about one hour and nine minutes and my commentary myself speaking part was one minute and 16 seconds which means that about five minutes is going to be make it the whole thing off sync and uh let me guys know let let, let me guys know god damn it's like 11 30 i'm sorry guys um let me know in the comments below um i would really appreciate your feedback if you want me to post that or not or if you want me to try to get another game uh, it might take a little bit longer, but um, I'll try to make it not so it's not like that. Uh, I could post it with it. I could post it without it, without the live commentary, with it. Um, just let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate the feedback because uh, I'm really at a loss. I don't know uh, what I should do. Uh, it, you know, it's for you guys, so uh, let me know. All right, so now on to the, the real part. The, I, I thought I'd do a deeper commentary. I haven't really uh, done one of these yet, and... Uh, uh, the I just thought I was thinking about it, you know. I it's been on my mind the past couple days, and I thought I'd share it because uh, that's what I like to do on these uh, videos. So the other day in English, in my English class, um, we did a little writing assignment, and uh, one of the things was one thing that makes you the mo or the most sad the most is dot dot dot, and you fill it in and you write for about you know like good ten minutes or so. You just write about what you want, you know, whatever. And uh, so I, so I thought about it for a while, and uh, you know everyone else is writing, and I'm I'm just sitting there thinking. I'm like, what makes me sad? And then I kind of thought a little bit more, and I was like, I think I know what I'm gonna write. So I started writing, and my my ideal like what makes me really sad when I truly think about it is the idea of death. And I know that may seem like some cliche kind of you know thing but um, let me expand upon that not not just the idea of death but the idea that everything you know and love will physically be gone from you once you once you're dead um, I, I like I don't truly I don't want I don't want things to end I wish it didn't end but that's just how that's how that's how life goes uh, everything must come to an end everything starts everything ends um, that's just you know that's just how it goes um, you know, whenever I think of this, I, st I start to think about, like, you know, like, human race, right? Human race has been going on, you know, they've been here for a long time. And eventually, we're going to die out. We're going to become extinct. Just like, you know, there's there's animals that become extinct. And, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it, might, it probably will not happen for, like, you know, a long time from now. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Um, but, you know, it's eventually going to happen. And then, and then I, you know, I start thinking about it more, and I'm like, well then what? Then then what? What? Who's gonna be like? 
who's going to be the main, you know, the main species. Because, like, you know, we don't know if there's extraterrestrial, terrestri I can't even pronounce it, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Uh, beings, you know, on other universes, galaxies, you name it. I don't, I don't know. We, no one knows. You know, our technology is not that good. We don't have that kind of technology yet. And so, I mean, like, w what happens after that, you know? What happens to the animals, you know? Are they just going to keep living? Uh, I don't, can they keep living by themselves without the aid of humans? Uh, without humans being around? Um, you know? I mean, and then, you know, I kind of, I kind of think about it more. And then, you know, this, the thing that really gets, me, that got me thinking about this in the first place was like, I, I watched a uh, Futurama episode. I'm a big Futurama fan. If you watch that, then uh, I love you because uh, that is a very good show. I love that show. But um, on their last season, their newest season, they did a um, video or video. <laughs> Jesus, I I fail so bad. Anyways, um, they did a video. I said it again. This is what happens when you get four hours of sleep and I'm up at 11.30 at night and I should be sleeping right now. But anyways, they made a episode where um, they make a the professor makes a forward time machine it doesn't go backwards only forwards because of a previous episode when they went backwards and they changed the they altered the timeline uh, blah 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 so so they wouldn't do that so you go into the, they, they were going to test run it they were going to go like a couple minutes into the future and see what happens and they accidentally go like a thousand years into the future so now they're it starts off in the year 3000 uh, for anyone that doesn't isn't familiar with the show so they're up in like 4000 and you know they they can't go backwards because you know it's only a forward time machine and they keep having they basically keep having to go forward until someone actually creates a backwards time machine because he was like the only one who had created one previously and you know that you see like all the you know every like thousand years ten thousand years what like they imagine you know what they portrayed life would be like what what is it like you know and eventually it got to the point where it became like knights and stuff like renaissance kind of stuff but it was like new renaissance where like they had better technology like they still rode they rode on horses and they you know they had the the knight you know the whole knight outfit the armor but like they had like the the jousting little thingies they were like uh lasers or something like that uh, if i recall correctly i haven't seen the episode in a while but yeah, I mean, like, and then I think about it, and I'm like, is, you know, will that happen? Will, like, you know, in, uh, in 20,000 years, will, you know, the life be the same, like, you know, as it is today, except just, you know, more futuristic, you know? Maybe instead of regular cars, we have flying cars, you know, stuff like that. And, and I don't know, I, I get really, like, you know, stuck, like, I, I think about that stuff. That stuff is, seems really interesting to me. Um, it fascinates me. Uh, and you know, I wrote I wrote about this for so much. I'm actually looking at, kind of looking at the paper to give me a little, uh, give me some clarification, make sure I'm not uh, talking like, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about at all. And uh, I mean, and then they eventually go to so far in time they reach um, they reach one million, the year one million A.D. And all life on Earth is gone. Everything's gone. Trees. Humans, animals, everything is gone. And uh, really quick, let me pause. Uh, around this time, uh, my guy is going to start randomly stopping. And um, perfect addition to this game, uh, if you've been paying attention, my controller kept dying. And I didn't want to put in batteries because at the time I was just so like into the game that I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to have to do that. So I kept trying to turn it back on and do that. I tried to win it, but it didn't work out so well. But yeah, that's why I keep like stopping every once in a while. So uh, if you thought I'm like retarded, I'm not. Don't worry. So anyways, um, they reached the year one million, and they, they, you know, all life is gone, and Earth is just a barren. It looks like a desert, and just the whole planet is a desert, and pretty much the sun is gonna like explode and take out the whole universe. Uh, so they're just gonna sit back and watch, and they watch, and everything's gone. Uh, they're just in space by themselves. The whole universe is gone. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, all the planets, all gone. Everything he knew is gone. Everything they knew is gone. It, it just it amazes me. That, that kind of stuff. I, 
when I think about it, just the possibilities, it, it's ridiculous to me. But uh, and then after that, they're um, they're just kind of you know sitting around because they don't really know what to do anymore. Like, what do you do? Nothing left. And all of a sudden, another big bang happens, and all the planets get realigned as they were before. And this is where it really, really like sunk into me. I'm, I'm now I'm thinking, oh my God, like you know, could this happen? Could in a million years, could everything reboot, pretty much? Could everything restart, and would life be the exact same? If if right now, February second, two thousand eleven, at this time, eleven, eleven thirty nine, if I was doing commentary right now, would I be doing it? A million years later when earth got restarted and the whole universe got restarted um that's pretty much it the gameplay is wrapping up guys i hope you enjoyed this uh deeper kind of commentary more into my my brain my thinking if you enjoyed it uh give it a thumbs up otherwise i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll try to get some uh first strike dlc gameplay up and uh, i'll talk to you guys later